Colorado's Marine Evidence Recovery Team, also called its MERT program, is a statewide response team operated by Colorado Parks and Wildlife's Boating Safety Unit. It has 11 team members spread out across the state, and its primary mission is to investigate, recover, and collect any boat accident evidence in flatwater environments such as ponds and lakes. Typically, the majority of the call-outs across the state are where a drowning or a major boat accident has occurred. CPW established the program in 2008 and has gradually grown it over time, but especially in the last four years, as drownings in Colorado unfortunately are on the rise. The MERT program has three marine vessels dedicated to searching for boat accident evidence or drowning victims. Their fleet is fully furnished with high-tech equipment necessary to conduct marine searches. Their vessels come with two hummingbirds that utilize side and down scan imaging and an ROV, which is an underwater vehicle they can send down with lights, a camera, sonar capabilities, and a grappler to locate and recover evidence for a victim. They are also equipped with a towfish, which is a towable sonar unit that can scan the bottom of lakes hundreds of feet deep. As Jim Hawkins, the leader of the MERT program, explains. We have the ability uh, to go to, uh, for example, Grand Lake, um, that's the deepest known lake that we're aware of, and that's 310 feet. And we have the ability to use towable sonar to actually scan the bottom of those lakes in Colorado. All right, out. The importance of their mission is critical and is one that is extremely challenging. People don't understand, you know, like, how hard is it to search the lake? But think about it, you're really looking for a needle on a haystack you, your eyes are blindfolded because you really can't see, and the marine environment is always constantly changing. On this summer day, the MERT team is out at Cherry Creek State Park for a demonstration of its equipment and how they go about locating and recovering a victim in the water. Today's victim is named Rescue Randy, a 62-pound test dummy used for training. Now, we're starting off with our hummingbird sonar here, traditional on side scan imaging, which is mounted, transducer is mounted to the back of the boat, and that's what all these screens are right here. So this sonar is literally looking at the bottom of the lake. Here, that's the lake floor, and out 60 feet on either side. So we're looking for any abnormalities or anything that stands out um, here, and into the scale of whatever we're looking for. The important about running tracks is right here. You'll see kind of this black column that we call it. We call it a water column. Okay. And that's pretty much dead space because the beam is going down and then out. So that's why we have to run our track. So if you look at our uh, hummingbird right now, we're shooting 60 feet left and right of the boat, um, but we're missing this gap. So we'll uh, run this line. And then if we have a good search pattern and good search area from like this buoy to that buoy, you know, we'll extend our search area by probably 100 to 200 yards, and then we just run straight lines. We just keep doing grids, and we'll run 50-foot tracks, so we're getting at least 10 foot of double coverage of each area. And then as we pass it, you'll start seeing it. So the transducer's seeing everything behind us. There's like a delay, a couple seconds. So when, once he swings and gets on this straight course, what? So you should see on the left side. There it is. See the grades on the left, top left. So now it's 17. Isn't that crazy? You can see that drop off or got deep right there. How deep are we? How deep? Grant Brown and Jim Hawkins will now utilize both the ROV and the towfish sonar to locate Rescue Randy in the reservoir. ROV stands for Remotely Operated Vehicle. It is a device made from video ray. It is a grappler that rotates 360 degrees that gives them the ability to go down and recover evidence or a victim. 
It has video capabilities, so they can see and record the evidence or victim as they are searching. Towfish. Uh, this is a Mark II. This is our brand new unit. Uh, our towfish, uh, this is typically used for deeper water. Uh, like I said previously, our hummingbirds are pretty good 40 feet and in. Uh, but once we start reaching that 40 to 45 foot mark, uh, that hummingbird isn't strong enough to get us really good, good returns to the bottom. So that's why we use this towfish. Uh, this towfish has a capability of scanning up to 300 feet, even thousands of feet, but we can scan the deepest uh, reservoir or lake in Colorado with this towfish. And it allows us to get really good to find images. Those are kind of the images that we'll get, but you can see the shadow, and that's what gives it away. I like that shadow. See, I, I marked it over here. Yeah, and then it popped up, that's cool to see it. Does it pop up then on your... Boat is now passing. I think that's it. I see him online. I got him online. And this is our our mark, and we can actually zoom in on that mark, and it gives us a. Can you hand me that bag out of the glove box I can? A better image of what we're looking at. 